Hello all of you beautiful butterflies. Today I'm going to be doing a thrift store haul, but I wanted to do kind of a twist. I've done one of these on my channels before where um, it was a vintage type of twist, but this one is a Disney type twist um, slash Pixar as well. So the first one we have is a Pocahontas doll. I am like 9 out of 90 percent sure that it's a Pocahontas doll if it's not. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I love Pocahontas. But yeah, she was made in 2015 from Hasbro. Um, she came with her original dress. Her shoes are missing, which is very sad. Um, but I don't know if she actually came with shoes at the same time. I'm, I'm sure she did, but I don't recall in, in the movie if they would have shoes, you know. Um, her hair is so so tangled it is kind quite awful how tangled it is like it is it's bad um her head is unproportionate to her body which i've seen a lot of dolls like this where um like disney type dolls where their heads are a bit unproportionate to their body um but yeah there was nothing there was no other like big stains about her like what on her or anything or on her dress um now we move on to this Ariel doll whose curls are pretty greatly intact. Like, you can see almost where every single curl is. Then we move on to this dress that was on top of her, even though she's, like, a mermaid. Um, so I don't know why there was a dress, but yeah, I mean, I'll take a free dress, you know? Um, this one did take a while to focus, but I'm pretty sure it was 2010, um, that she was that she that she was made <laughs> that she was made she was also made by mattel and i did i didn't find my favorite princess which i was very sad about but oh it was 2012 well anyways yeah but i did not find my favorite disney princess but i will keep looking and eventually try to do this again so her tail is like um a little bit um it faded i guess at the top like some of the sparkles came off and her bra does have like scratches where there isn't paint on there anymore um you then go to the dress and it has like she shells seahorses um these green puffy sleeves and somewhere of that design on the top of the dress we then move on to my second favorite princess ever actually I kind of have three tied. Okay, so she is my favorite princess, but at the same time, I have two other favorite princesses, so, you know. Um, she was made in 2011, I'm pretty sure, from Mattel as well. Um, yeah, Mattel. I think I think. I honestly don't remember. Um, we, she has bendable knees, so that's good. Um, she came with her, oh, oh came with her original shoes, and, um, like everything like that she doesn't have any like her arms are bent for her already her hair is um has some of the original curls it's not as curly as it looks like in the movie and stuff but i guess it's fine like you can't really um accomplish that her face does have a bit of stains on it which is very sad you know but what are we to do you know um and they'll probably wash off really easily anyways um her shoes like I said, she just come with them. They have like these, um, they so that you can put them on easier. They have like a break type thing in the back. Um, also, whenever I first got her out of like the bag that they come in, I was like, oh no, you're not telling me it has a rip. But this it rip was intentional. There's like sewing on it and stuff. Um, so at least I think it's intentional. If someone can sew that good, wow. I mean, that's impressive, you know um there's only one breakage that i can really tell and it's right there but that can easily be covered by hair or anything like that i will probably be, i'll probably be displaying all of these dolls so <clears throat> um this next one is a tinkerbell doll i'm pretty sure because she has like green and stuff on her and pointed ears as like like a fairy i guess would um her hair is pretty good it's not cut or anything um she has um articulation like in the chest area the legs the arms and she was made in 2010 by disney that's all it says so i'm i guess at disney i don't know i don't know it doesn't really say brand on the back um her makeup 
is amazing it's like glossy and glittery it's her hair is still kind of in this bun formation i could probably try to fix that and i'm sure it would be easy um she didn't come with her original shoes nor did she come with her original like outfit or anything which is you know sad but what I need to do, you know? So now let's just go through a review of all the dolls that I just did. Kind of just, you know, refreshing um, about what I said. So we have the Pocahontas doll, which I am 90% sure that it's the Pocahontas doll. And she came with her original dress. I'm not sure if she came with shoes. If she would have come with shoes, I'm not sure. You know, her hair was a bit ratted um, again. Then we have this dress, which had the she shells and the seahorses on it. And the Ariel doll, which just had, like, a couple scrapes on her, uh, like, she shell bra thing. But other than that, was in good condition. Con good conditioner. Good condition. Um, then we have the Brave doll, who came with shoes, bendable knees. She had bendable knees. Um, the only really breakage on her dress was around the neck part. And then we have the Tinkerbell doll, who didn't have... Like, her hair and all that was in good condition, but didn't have clothes or shoes, so I probably won't be able to find those anywhere, and, yeah. I probably won't be able to display her, but it's okay, you know? <laughs> I'll put her probably in something else that I can find, but yeah, anyways, that's all for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you would like to see more videos like this, subscribe and turn on the bell to get notified every single time that I post. I know it is so crazy. Um, as well... You can leave a comment and check my description for my Instagram and find just more out about my channel if you would like to. Um, yeah, that's all for me today. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye. Yes.